Wareham sorely needs a win tonight after suffering their worst loss of the season to the Brewster Whitecaps on Wednesday. As they travel to Veterans Field to play the Anglers for the final time, they have a chance to complete the season sweep. They have their work cut out for them, though, as Chatham starter Davis Daniel has yet to allow a run this season. Luckily for the Gatemen, they still have two of the hottest hitters on the Cape in Isaac Collins and Jeremy Idens. We'll pick up with Idens as he bats with two runners on in the top of the first. New payoff pitch sent it off. Swung on and roped high and deep into left center field, and it will get down and roll to the wall. Collins scores from third. Shenton being waved around. Idens up to second. Shenton will chug in and score. It's a two-run double for Jeremy Idens, and the Gatemen have a two-to-nothing lead in the top of the first inning. Run for ropes this one into the left center field gap and down for a base hit. Rave being waved around third base. He will score an RBI single for Michael Bush as Drew Mendoza moves from first to third. And it's two to one Gateman in the bottom of the first inning. First pitch to Isaac Collins hit under the glove of the first baseman, Jake Taylor, and into right field for a hit. Moving up to third and around third to score is Jacob Goldfarb. It's an RBI single for Isaac Collins and a 3-1 to one lead for the Gateman in the second. 1-1 one, one is swung on, roped into right field, sinking line drive, stop, and it's made, and a catch made by Isaac Collins. The win was driving into the park. He had to move to his left, not a natural outfielder. He dives and makes the catch the second time he has robbed somebody of extra bases within the week. Swung on and roped into center field, sinking line driving it will get down for a hit. Kreidler scores from third. Isaac Collins with three hits on the day, his second RBI, and it's now four to one Gateman here in the fourth inning. Come set in the 2-2 home. Swung on, hit toward the five and a half hole and into left field for a base hit. Ryan Kreidler singles home Jeremy Idens as he trots over the plate from third. Another RBI single for the Gateman. It's five to one Wareham. A couple of extra base hits. Looking for another one here as it flares down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Millis is going to come around to score. Goldfarb will score behind him. They'll hold up Collins at third and trotting into second with a stand-up two-run double is Sahid Valenzuela in the Gateman. Just keep adding to that lead. 0-1 home. He's going to wait on this one, too, and it's going to be off the glove of the second baseman, Bush, who was playing in on the infield grass. So that one will find its way into center field, and coming home to score is Isaac Collins. An RBI single for Austin Shenton. And it is now 8-1, Gateman. And Iden is going to be back up the middle and find its way into center field, a base hit. The beat keeps on moving for the Gateman. Now it's 9-1 as Zahid Valenzuela trots in to score from third base. This one's going to be shanked out to left field, and Goldfarb is backtracking. This one is going to get down on a couple hops to the wall. And a two-out, two-strike RBI double for Michael Bush will cut into the Gateman lead just a tad. It's now 9-2. And an 0-2 pitch to Arenas. It's going to be bounced on the ground to second. Oliver Dunn will flip it to Sahid Valenzuela covering second base. And that is the out that ends the ball game. The Gateman cruise to a 9-2 win over Chatham as they swept the season series against the Anglers. They're the first team to have figured out Davis Daniel as he gave up four runs. Ken Waldachuk impressed only surrendering one hit and one run in three innings, but he did not get the win as Lyle Lockhart went three strong with one run as well. The game and offense was the real story, though. Isaac Collins and Jeremy Idens each had three hits while driving in five runs collectively, and Jacob Goldfarb continued his rebound in the Cape League by reaching base in all five plate appearances. The game and are set to travel to Lowell Park to play the Kettleers on Thursday.